Newton's method. Here we examine an aspect of what we call, in the general scheme of things, approximation theory. Here in this approximated uh, method um, given to us by Isaac Newton is that we want to be able to approximate uh, the so-called zero of a function, where the graph crosses the x-axis. Um, is it possible to locate that through a series of iterations? You might not get it the first time, but you keep trying. Here, uh, Newton uh, uses um, just the straightforward um, equation of the slope function, and from there, um, the slope is used here. The derivative is used to approximate the so-called slope. Um, x sub 2 is said to be always the next uh, iterated um, 0, or the x-intercept. And x sub 1 is said to be the previous, or if it's the first, uh, the first uh, initial guess. So we guess to approximate um, the, the first um, zero, and then from there we can use the slope function to be able to approximate the, the next iteration using uh, Newton's method, hopefully, uh, I would assume, within two or three uh, uh, iterated uh, movements, you should be able to, uh, to come into very close proximity uh, within uh, three decimal places of, of the difference. So, so what Newton is using is here where C is, that's where the actual uh, function crosses the x-axis. We don't know what that, uh, that point is. Uh, we do know an x sub 1. And so from x sub 1, we take the tangent line, which is the, the slope or the derivative, to approximate the next move, the next movement or the next uh, uh, approximated 0, which here comes out to be x sub 2. Now from x sub 2, we find its uh, tangent, which would then give us something there, and you're dead on or spot on, if you will. And it looks like the way the author has done it in his next move, he, he gets here. And then from there, he wants to take a tangent line, and then his next movement, he should be very close to it. So in about two or three moves, if you don't get it in two or three moves, then more than likely uh, there's an error somewhere in your calculation. Um, and uh, if not, then I suggest using a different method. Uh, other methods, uh, the uh, least square uh, approximation or the runt cutter. But here, the Newton's method uh, works pretty good. Now, now, how does he build it? I should back up and, and say that. Uh, let's say here, uh, consider the point slope form. for the equation of a line. And what that gives us is uh, y minus y sub 1 is equal to m times the expression x minus x sub 1. So we can translate this. Uh, th that is y minus f of x sub 1 is equal to f prime of x sub 1 times x minus x sub 1. Do you see that where y sub 1 is equal to the function uh, evaluated at x sub 1 and the slope here is the derivative and this is what we've been dealing with in this class. So here we have y minus f of x sub 1 is equal to f prime of x sub 1 times 
x minus x naught. And if you go back to the graph, the whole idea, we can start up here, the whole idea is to solve for x, x sub 1 or x sub 2. The way you do that, uh, you recall, if you're looking for the, the x-intercept, you let y equal to 0. So, So to find the x-intercepts, let y equal to 0. Newton's method seeks to Approximate the x intercept of a function. So, so what we'll do is let y equal to zero. So we come here. Setting y equal to zero, we solve for x. So we have zero minus f of x sub one is equal to f prime of x sub one times x minus x sub one. Now, if that be the case, then if we divide both sides by f prime of, of uh, x sub one, we have negative f of x sub 1 divided by f prime of x sub 1 is equal to x minus x sub 1. Now, if we get the x by itself, that is to add x sub 1 on both sides, this implies here that we have x sub 1 minus f of x sub 1 all over f prime of x sub 1 is equal to x. And, and so We'll just write it x is equal to x sub 1 minus f of x sub 1 divided by f prime of x sub 1. So, so this would be ideally the next iteration or x sub 2 is x sub 1 minus f of x sub 1 divided by f prime of x sub 1. x sub 2 well, x of 3, that is. Mm, too much. x of 3 is x of 2 minus f of x of 2 divided by f prime of x of 2. And so you, you get it then. x of n plus 1 is equal to x sub n minus f of x sub n divided by f prime of x sub n. Newton's method. One key aspect is that uh, that f is differentiable uh, on an open interval containing c, uh, then to approximate, and, and here the idea is that f, the function is differentiable even at the value c. c is said to be where um, uh, the uh, uh, the approximation uh, should uh, uh, be. Well, um, might not be the case, but we can try this method to see. Well, let's take this problem here using Newton's method. The, it, he has a, a diagram in terms of how you want to put your answers um, anywhere beside or you know, for the homework. That's fine. I, I'm just going to work the problem. You recall from, from the Newton's method, we need f prime of x. So this is 3x squared. <clears throat> the first initial guess is given for this problem. Sometimes the guess is not given. You have to, uh, to guess yourself. So 
x of n plus 1 is going to be equal to x of n minus this function, which is x cubed minus 3. I need to write that in terms of, of x of n divided by this f prime. divided by f prime of x. I'm going to write this as 3 times x sub n to be squared. So x sub 2 is x sub 1. x sub, x sub 2 is x sub 1, which is 1 1.4 minus minus the 1.4 to the third divided by 3. That's just minus the function, right? x sub n plus 1 is x sub n minus f of x sub n divided by f prime of x sub n. And then this is all over the, uh, the this number 1.4 evaluated at the derivative. This is 3 times 1.4 to be squared. When you work that on your calculator, you have 1.4435. And I think they talk about that the difference should be uh, within a certain um, uh, uh, interval. The difference of x sub n plus 1 minus x sub n to be very small. Um, some epsilon small. So here the difference. So now we take to find x sub 3. This is 1.4435 minus 1.4435 to be squared minus 3 this is all over 3 times 1.4435 to be squared. And when you work that out, x sub 3 comes out to be on your calculator 1.44225. I just round it 1.4423. And I think with this problem, he only asked to go to to perform two uh, complete iterations, right? So, so we did that. Now look at this next one. He says apply Newton's method to approximate the x values of the indicated point of intersection of two graphs. And this is interesting. We, we leave the idea of trying to approximate a zero where a function crosses the x-axis to trying to now approximate where two functions cross. You can do that using Newton's method. Here's the trick. Uh, let h, h of x is said to be the, the intersection uh, function, the function of intersection. So let uh, uh, h of x be where the functions cross, where h of x is just the difference of the two functions. Uh, f of x minus g of x. And you want your, um, hopefully within two iterations, uh, uh, the, the approximations of, of the values uh, x of n differ uh, within uh, 0 0.001 of a difference. So h of x here is this f of x minus g of x. So this is 2x plus 1 minus the square root of x plus 4. Now we need its derivative, so h prime of x is 2 minus 1 half times x plus 4 to the negative 1 half times the derivative of x plus 4, which is just 1. So we have here for this derivative 2 minus 1 all over 2 times the square root of x plus 4. 
So what we want is first x sub 2. What is x sub 1? Here you want to look at the graph. We're trying to find this point. Now we don't know what it is. It looks like maybe around 0.5, we're guessing, 0.6 to probably be even closer. But I'm going to uh, take my first guess to be um, uh, 0.5. So, and remember um, that the way that we write the next iteration is x sub n plus 1 is equal to x sub n minus, here this is going to be h of x divided by h prime of x. So this is now minus the function 2 times 0 0.5 plus 1 minus the square root of 0 0.5 plus 4 close that up, divided by here this derivative which is 2 minus 1 over 2 times the square root of 0 0.5 plus 4. Now on your your calculator uh, I get something like 0 0.56 8.76. So then I try that again. So x sub 3 is going to be the x sub 2, which is 0 0.56876 minus the brackets 2 times 0 0.56876 plus 1 minus the square root of 0 0.56876 plus 4. Close that up. That's divided by here the brackets of 2 minus 1 all over 2 times the square root of 0 0.56876 plus 4. So my x of 3 0 0.56876 the differences of this is between x of 2 and x of 3 was was very small was within the um, the, the given uh, difference the absolute value of x sub 3 minus x sub 2 was less than what we wanted and so x sub 3 was 0 0.56 you can round that if we're looking at three decimal places 9. Now uh, for uh, the computer, you have a problem that looks like this, and and it's the same setup. So here we have uh, uh, f and g, and so you need to find h. So h becomes three minus x minus one over x squared plus one, and then you want to find h prime of x. Let's write this as 3 minus x minus x squared plus 1 to the negative 1. So this becomes negative 1 plus x squared plus 1 to the negative 2 times 2x. So h prime of x becomes negative 1 plus 2x all over x squared plus 1 to the second power. So you guess uh, in terms of uh, what x sub 1 uh, 
that you think it should be. You could pick something like 2.8. Here, this is the answer, but let's say you didn't see that. So I'm looking at here where I think they cross. You could say 2.8, 2.9. You know, it doesn't matter. I said 2.8. And I think the author, I think he picked three or something like that. Here's the neat thing. It doesn't matter what you guess with. Try to be as close as possible. In the, the process of, of Newton's method, um, the second or third, uh, sometimes a fourth iteration, you will be spot on, my friends. So, the, and then, you know, you, you find X of 2 and, and so on. Here's the answer. So, he picked, the author picked 3 for his uh, X of 1, and that gave him for X of 2, 2.8936. And then um, he took the... Uh, the 2.8936 ran that back through, and his X sub 3 came out to be 2.8933, which is within the, the difference, right? The 2.8933 minus 2.8933. Eight nine three six is very small, and so he stops there and he says that the point of intersection is at that point two point eight nine three three. Well, I hope that's helpful. Thank you.